live. And we're live. Yay. Hi, guys. Happy Tuesday. Okay, phew. Thanks, baby. I was like, oh my gosh, what day is it today? I have such a fun live for you today. We are focusing on Jewish classics with Lily's Baking Company. I got the biggest, most beautiful, most amazing box of goodies. And I'm going to share them all with you today and fun things to do with them. So first of all, we're starting with Lily's Rogalach. Now, this is a really, really fun product because first and foremost, it comes in great flavors. We have chocolate, we have raspberry, we have cinnamon. And really the idea here is that this is like a very um, like sweet layered dough that's rolled up with these amazing sweet jammy fillings or chocolate fillings or cinnamon. And on their own, it's like the classic Jewish dessert. I say rogalach, you could say rogala, whatever you like, but you could do a really fun baking project with your kids with this. Now, baking with kids can be like, you need a lot of time, you need a lot of patience, you need to have a lot of cleaning supplies. So I thought like, forget the difficulties of the baking and just do the fun part of the project, which is the decorating. So I'm taking the raspberry rogalach, you can see the beautiful rolls here and the crystal sh crystallized sugar on top. And I just tempered some chocolate just melted my favorite chocolate, dipping it in half, dipping halfway in, and then just placing this down. Now this is cool because even for yourself, it's like a semi-homemade kind of feel. It goes right over here. You can place it like that, just to set up. So this is semi-homemade. You feel like you've done something, but it's a great shortcut for you when you're entertaining. And this freezes really well, even after the chocolate sets up. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna serve it to my Friends, if you know who you are and you're watching, this is what you're gonna have for Shabbos. I'm just gonna put it into my freezer and it's gonna be all ready. Now, if I'm doing this with my kids, again, we dip. You could dip, you could coat the whole thing if you want. After this, you could go over with some white chocolate drizzle, but my kids love anything with colored sprinkles. So right over here, you can just go like that, and that is what we call party on a rugelach. Do that on the raspberry, do it on the cinnamon, do it on the chocolate, the world's your oyster, and have a lot of fun with it. Now, another great classic Jewish dessert is the babka. Right, Ruby, do you love babka? Adore babka. I love it too. If you love babka like I love babka, send hearts and thumbs up across the screen. Look at this swirly, decadent, filled babka. This is a hazelnut babka. Isn't that amazing? If you love that, I want hearts and thumbs up. And I have really two other cool flavors here. This is an apple crumb babka, and this I'm like loving and jonesing for, the pumpkin babka. Is that like yum? I want hearts and thumbs up, guys, if you we're like it. We're getting lots of hearts and Yay! thumbs up. Yay! It's a movie, you gotta tell me. Yeah, we're getting You gotta tell me people say they love babka like I love babka. So we all talk about challah French toast. But right now, it's Passover, it's just around the corner, and I am needing to use up all this chametz. I'm so happy that Lily sent this all to me, but it's like, hello, Passover is like in three weeks, three and a half weeks, don't freak out. And so on the top of their package, the Lily Supreme Babka, it says it makes the most amazing French toast. And I'm like, duh, where have you been all my life, Babka French toast? So I just, what you do here, you slice it up just like you would your challah. I like nice and thick French toast. Beautiful hazelnut. Babka going in, slices going into my mixture. You can use any kind of milk or non-dairy milk you like, some eggs. I always spike it with some extra vanilla. In this case, you could do hazelnut if you want or any kind of sort of almond just to bring out the nutty flavor like an almond extract. And then we're just gonna flip it and let that settle there for about a minute. And then we fry those up nice and good and fried. Now I've already prepared for you. Look at these. Who we, can we tell them how amazing this kitchen smells? You don't understand, guys. I was like, the whole time, I'm just like... <laughs> Beyond. We were licking our we're fingers, licking here. the bowls. We have French toast, hazelnut babka ready to go. Now, here is what you do for your kids, okay? Take some baking paper, or part, take some parchment paper. Lay it down. Today, I'm going to make all of this, all right? I am going to to spend a few hours making French toast for like 50. And what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna have breakfast for the next three weeks when I'm busy cleaning the house for Pesach and my kids want a yummy breakfast, whether it's a Sunday, whether it's a Friday, whether it's a weekday, they're gonna have some hot, yummy, delicious food that I otherwise would not have time to make. So we're rolling this up. 
for putting this in the freezer, individually wrapped, so your kids can take one, two, or three, however many they're in the mood for. Obviously, my little littler kids, and one is just fine, and they can warm it up in the morning straight from the freezer in the toaster oven or in the microwave. Now, protect it in a freezer bag, no freezer burn. You're gonna have amazing babka French toast for the next three, four weeks. Jamie, we have people asking where they can get this beautiful, oh, beautiful Oh, of course. Okay, fine. Sorry. So sorry about that, guys. BJ's, uh, Balducci's, Stop and Shop, Publix, Winn-Dixie. We'll publish the entire list below. But they're available everywhere. And it's these classic, amazing Jewish desserts. Everything from rogalach to black and white cookies to Linzer tarts to babka. They have it all. I have to show you. I didn't even show you guys. I was so excited with the rogalach. These they sent for hubby. This is hubby's favorite, favorite dessert. So these are their black and white cookies. And it's amazing to have like that little taste of like sort of New York Jewish classic food or like old world European classic desserts wherever you are. So if you're near Publix, you're near Winn-Dixie, um, Whole Foods, I believe also we said. So there's, it's in, available in a lot of places. Oh, check it out. Okay, so the coolest thing was, so Lily sent this to me before Purim. And it was supposed to arrive before Purim, but it actually arrived like hours before Purim, not like a few days before Purim. So I had loads and loads and loads of homatashin, and oh my gosh, now what am I doing with it? Because who eats homatashin after Purim? Now, maybe we do, right? Maybe we do? We sneak a few. Right, 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 we could. Yeah. But like, I had this amazing idea. Actually, I'm not taking credit for it. This is my sister-in-law's idea. Connie, you're the bomb. So she said to take your leftover homatashin and make a homemade pie crust out of it. So watch how this happens. So these are the apricot homatashin. And again, their homatashin comes in raspberry and poppy and apricot. So all the wonderful expected flavors. I'll just take another one and I'll show you what to do here. Using, we just learned this yesterday when we were on live with uh, Chef Morcone from the Ritz Carlton. Real chefs use their hand. Use your hands. You can use a potato masher or a fork if you want. But it's such a fabulous crumbly dough. We're just crumbling up the homatashin right here in a bowl. Okay, everything I'm showing you guys today here freezes amazing. So do this in batches. Enjoy the cookies and the cakes and the rogalach just as they are. But if you want to go ahead and make some sort of semi-homemade desserts that freeze well, go ahead and do that. So what you see here is this crumbled up homatashin and their fabulous fruit filling. We are making our own semi-homemade pie, pie dough, pie crusts. So we take this. Put it into mini tar pans and just using your fingers, we're gonna press up and we're gonna make our own fruit filled semi homemade pie crust out of our leftover home intention. It also looks like it's marble, so it's pretty. It's also. pretty and it's got full, it's like that little unexpected flavor in there because you're gonna have either your raspberry or your poppy or your apricot. So look at that, how that shapes so nice. You can certainly get something more shallow or deeper if you'd like. I'm going to try to go up the sides here for you guys just to see. And then because you have so much fruit flavor, so much flavor in this pie crust, you have to do almost nothing to the inside. So watch what I'm going to do. How's it look, Koof? It looks so good. Do we have our hearts and thumbs up, guys? This is like an amazing too. idea. Honey, I know at least follows me on Facebook. Not on Instagram, but on Facebook. Yeah, Hani, this is all you. You're amazing. Okay, so here. You can make 50, 100 of these, and you can freeze them, okay? Just like that. Now, before serving, you can either use a dairy whipped cream, or you can use a non-dairy. You can make something out of coconut milk. Fill this. Hold on. Yeah, baby. Oh, we're getting thumbs up. Yes, okay. Fill this with whipped cream. And top, because I have apricot here, I'm topping it with some chopped apricots. How gorgeous is that? Oh my god, it looks so good. I know. Oh, I thought I need more whipped cream, Hoobie. What do you think? There's no such thing as too much yeah, whipped cream. Yeah, no such thing as too much whipped cream. Okay, come around, come around, come around, come around. Oh, it's so good. This is like coming out on the slow side, but that's okay. Can you shake it? Yeah, we'll do a better shake before. And um, we'll fill it up with our apricots. And now we just have... Ooh, maybe add a little bit of hummantosh and crumble on top. Oh, Hoopy, look at you. What about like trifling up this pie? Yeah, this Hang on one really second. Fancy. <laughs> Hang on one second. Oh, there we That's go. That's it. Now we're in business. Where are my hearts? Where are my thumbs up? 
Beautiful. Is that Yuri Silver? You have to tell me when Yuri Silver's yeah. commenting. What's he saying? He's saying that the Lily's Come Bakery stuff, they're also great for Shabbos morning breakfast with a cup of coffee. Oh, Yudi! I knew I could count on you. We miss you so much. This is Yudi Chop Liver Silver coming to you from Cleveland with the news that you can just eat Lily's Baking Company stuff. So that's your Linda charts, your Mugalach, your leftover home and tash, and your babka with the morning cup of coffee. And he sends a thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. We miss Irving Fruit Salad Silver, who should rest in peace, one of our biggest fans um, that we lost this year. But he's a uh, whole energy and excitement is alive in his son, Yodi, who's another one. He's like our number two fan. And I think he's okay with me saying that since his father was the number one fan. So guys, from my Jewish kitchen to yours, make sure you go out, find the Lily stuff, enjoy it just as is, or some of these sort of fun riffs that we've done. A few weeks of Pesach, some great ideas to make ahead now and for you so you have your desserts and breakfast ready to go for the next few weeks. Bye.